Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. Hope you have a wonderful week. Whew, I need a haircut, don't I? Anyway, um, we are getting our things together. We are in a hotel, as you can see. Um, after we got the truck fixed in Salt Lake City, uh, we were able to get right back in service first thing in the morning and uh, we were able to go ahead and get dispatched. Well, that load did not pick up until Monday and it picked up in Idaho. So it had a little bit of a dead head on it. So that's what we did. We went ahead and drove up over the weekend, decided to go ahead and get another hotel for the weekend um, and just relax. And so we are getting everything together so that way we can get out of here and go make our pickup. Uh, we got to pick up in probably about an hour and a half or so and we're only five miles away, so perfect. I really do need a haircut. <laughs> so I will give you the details on this run whenever we get out to the truck. I don't have them on me right now, but look what we woke up to. It was snowing last night, and now we've got some snow today. So this is what we woke up to this morning. I don't know if you can hear the ice crunching underneath the tires. <laughs> I can hear it in here. Everything was covered last night, so at least they did uh, scrape the parking lot and halfway scrape the roads, but they are solid covered in ice. So I, for one, love snow. Absolutely love it. Um, living in the South, you don't get that much very often. So whenever it does snow, super excited. However, being out here on the road and having to drive in it and deal with it, ugh, it's not my favorite thing. And I think I've said that before. So yeah, guys, anyway, we are getting our things together. We will get out to the truck. I will give you the details on this run. Um, I did read on the internet that I-80 was shut down around Rollins, Wyoming. Um, snowstorm, high winds, high profile vehicles, it was closed. Hopefully all that is open and everything is good to go by the time we get through there. Um, but I will give you the details on this run as soon as we get out to the truck and get everything loaded. So catch up with you in a little bit. This run's gonna be going from Idaho over to Tennessee. This is going to be a 229 mile deadhead for a 1,845 mile run. This is temperature with a temperature range of 65 to 75 with a set point of 68 Fahrenheit. And currently it is about 21, 22 degrees outside, very cold. Um, so yeah, we're just getting ready to go make up this. Uh, so we're, yeah, we're just getting ready to go pick up this load, get on the road, and hopefully we don't run into too many issues with the weather. Um, right now we're in the truck can see out the windshield I mean it's not a lot of snow but it's just very icy everything is frozen because it's so cold so yeah we're getting ready to go make the pickup and then we'll be on the road heading to Tennessee
morning everybody. Today is Tuesday, December the 5th. So we are currently in Oak Grove, Missouri. We are at the Oak Grove 70 Petro and we are doing a driver swap. I uh, already got out, done my pre-trip and made my coffee. Don is inside grabbing us something to eat at Wendy's because I didn't feel like eating anything in the truck today. <laughs> Um, so yeah, after yesterday of driving in snow all day, but that was gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. If you've ever, if you're a driver and if you've ever been up that way, we were in Idaho coming out of Idaho Falls. We ended up on Highway 26, um, over to, I believe it was 89 to 181 and 191, making our way over through. Uh, the uh, eastern part of Idaho and the upper part of Wyoming down to I-80 and that was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I've never been through there before in almost nine years of driving and it's a trucker route. Uh, the majority of it is 55 to 65 miles an hour, which we couldn't do that because of all the weather, but um, yeah, the majority of it is uh, four lane. There are some two lane areas, but just absolutely gorgeous if you're ever going through that area and you've got a little extra time definitely worth driving through there it's absolutely gorgeous uh, so but yeah after we're driving through all the snow yesterday and then all the snow last night through Wyoming and everything today we have blue skies and it is pretty so as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous out today So yeah, I'm just waiting for Don to get back to the truck. Uh, I just heard the Qualcomm go off and we have been pre-dispatched. <laughs> so I will tell you about that a little bit later. But yeah, as soon as Don gets back to the truck, I'm gonna scarf down my breakfast and then we will be getting on the road and I will knock out these last miles. Looks like we only got about 670 miles to go. So we should be there tonight and our delivery is for eight o'clock first thing in the morning. So we will catch up with you a little bit later. So we are on I-24, about four miles from the Kentucky line. Traffic is shut down. Don't know for sure, but I'm assuming a big truck is involved. We've seen a... Uh, oh yeah, Tennessee line, excuse me. Uh, but I'm assuming a big truck was involved. They had a real big wrecker come through here. But yeah, we're not moving. I got like two hours left on my clock. Hopefully we can get through here before my time runs out. Otherwise we'll have to pull over on the side of the road and switch drivers or something. Good morning to everyone. Today is Wednesday, uh, December the 6th. We got up this morning, made our delivery. Uh, we actually got there late last night, slept at the dock. They come knocking on the door bright and early at 7 a.m. So we got up, got that delivered. And then we had to start driving to our next pickup. So let me give you the details on that. This run is going from Tennessee to Nevada. It is going to be a 118 mile deadhead for a 2,157 mile run. This is uh, one piece at 100 pounds. It is temperature validated with a temperature range of two to eight Celsius set point of five Celsius, which is 41 Fahrenheit. 
So we went ahead and drove over, did our deadhead this morning. We stopped at a Loves. We're roughly about 20 miles from pickup. And uh, we stopped here at Loves, ran inside, had breakfast, grabbed us a shower, got cleaned up. And now we are getting ready to run over here, get some fuel. We're gonna do the tire pass here at Loves. Uh, haven't done that in a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and get that checked out. And then we will head over to our pickup and get on the road going to Nevada. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I will pick up with the trip on the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. We really do appreciate it. I notice I'm closing in on 500 subscribers. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed and everyone who watches every day. We really do appreciate it. As always, keep those wheels a turning. And until our next video, take care, everybody. Take care. Bye.